Why is this considered to be a four-dimensional cube? Isn't it just a 3D cube inside a 3D cube? And if this is a four-dimensional object, how does it manage to fit into our three-dimensional space? In reality, this is not a four-dimensional cube. You can't spin it like this, you can't put your finger in here. This is not a 4D cube, however, it's the best we can do given the circumstances, which are these. We live in a three-dimensional space. We aren't flat, but not hyper-objects either. We also can't see the world in 3D. Each separate caption of the world that we get with our eyes is just a couple of flat projections of a 3D world. Just a shadow of what's really going on. I've heard this argument multiple times. We have two eyes and it lets us see the world in 3D. Well, actually it's called binocular vision. Two pictures from different angles are enough to perceive volume and depth. However, it's not enough to form a 3D image. 3D vision is a completely different thing. If you had a 3D vision, you could see me naked right now and all my internal body parts. If you look at a two-dimensional world with your 2D vision, nothing can hide from you. If the object is in your field of view, you'll definitely see it. But for the flat man, the world is different. He has a 1D vision. What he sees is just a strip of what's in the foreground. Just like you can't see behind my back and behind my pants. With your 2D vision you can see all the internal body parts. In a flat world nothing can hide from you because there is no space behind the objects from your point of view. And it only works because the dimension of your vision is the same as the dimension of space. Imagine that you are looking at a 2D world while simultaneously being a part of this world. It's impossible. The observer is clearly looking from the outside, along the hidden third coordinate. It's the same as navigating the map. It's easy when you look at it from here, but it's impossible to read it if you are a part of this map. So in order to see the world in 3D, you have to watch from the outside along the hidden fourth coordinate. But where is this direction? Well, for the flat man it's also impossible to point in a direction that's beyond their two spatial dimensions. But we know that this direction exists, because we are 3D entities ourselves. He can't imagine the third dimension, in the same way that we can't imagine a four-dimensional space. So, if you desperately want to see me naked, you have two options. Either you have to be a four-dimensional creature with 3D vision, watching me from the outside of a 3D world, or just match me on Tinder. So, if we can't imagine a four-dimensional space, it means that we can't imagine what a 4D object would look like in its entire shape. Just like for a flat man, a 3D cube would make no sense. However, a flat man could probably describe it mathematically. And this is how we got here. To understand how we got to the point where we describe this as a 4D cube, we have to start even deeper than the flat world. In a world with zero dimensions, there is no way to go. So the only thing that can hypothetically exist there is just a sizeless, dimensionless dot. If we copy a dot and connect them, we get a segment. Let's consider it to be a 1D cube. If we then do the same, copy it and connect the corresponding dots, we get a 2D cube, a square. To make it a 3D cube, we do the same. We make a copy and connect the corresponding dots. Ok, now you see the pattern and you know what we should do next. We do the same thing with our 3D cube and get this mess. Wait, this is not the only way to look at a cube. We could do it differently. We could copy it here and connect the corresponding dots. It still looks like a cube, but when you're looking at it from the top. It's a 3D object already, so it's all about perspective. So to get a 4D cube, we can do the same thing to a 3D cube. And this is how we get this version of a hypercube. However, obviously it's not the way it looks in fourth dimension. You're watching this on a flat screen, so this is just 
a flat projection of a 3D projection of a four-dimensional object. But have you ever seen a 3D cube in its entire shape? Look at this picture. Is this a 3D cube or a square? Well, it can be both. It can be a square or just one side of a 3D cube. But this is our only way to look at a cube. Each time we see a 3D cube, we only see it from one point of view. In order to understand it better, we have to start spinning it. Now we can see it from different angles. So it's much easier to understand 3D objects if you are watching them in dynamic. And this is where it gets interesting, because this is what a rotating 4D cube looks like. For us, with our lack of dimensional vision, it feels less like rotation and more like changing its shape, deforming. But with a 3D cube, if you try to distance yourself from your spatial vision, it still kinda looks like it's just squares that are changing their shape on a flat surface. For a flat man, a 3D object moving up and down would look like it's changing its shape, but we can see that it's just moving along the third coordinate. So to perceive rotation of this cube along the fourth coordinate as rotation, we at least need to have a 3D vision. We are not capable of it. So to say that this is a four-dimensional cube is the same as saying that this is a 3D cube. Technically, I can't argue, but in reality it's much more than just this.